I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? What appears to have changed since we were last here? Let us proceed with due caution. What could be the cause? This demands further investigation. I knew not what to think when we first arrived here. All those stairs struck me as rather sinister. Indeed. All the while, it was a training ground for thieves of prodigious talent. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? Aye. Take care then. Do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. That all you wanted to ask? Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dara. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen. We're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, we'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick.
Greetings, master. Is this where you've been all this while? Do you take care not to stray so far next time. We've made it, then. What's our first order of business arisen? <laughs> the person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Shall we come back later? I'm not sure we're making any progress here. We might want to remind ourselves of the particulars of our task. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I bear word from Regent Ken Spen, Your Majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard. A minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the Minister's chambers and see if there's aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? Are you willing? I shall ensure that the door to the Minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So... False Sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent Deesa. The spider has woven her web rather carefully. We have reached our destination. Hoi, friend! Have a great time for me today? I dare say we're owed you another talk. 
There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation. For it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. Tis proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. Tis something I obtained of my own will. Though it came to me through you, of course. Pray, take this with my thanks. Tis quite a rarity, as I hear it. I hope tis to your life. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other. Though... I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then, take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the lad. You have my support. It would seem we've a need to visit the palace. Let us make for the palace that she might investigate Minister Allard's chambers. I dare not enter the palace, but I would fain escort you to the castle entrance. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. We have arrived. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that you're- Do let me know if you're in need of aid. You are the Arisen. Yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me! you move along. Should pray be cautious. You're I wish the minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet. But at least he knows what's good for him. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, 
Tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. Surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Well, well. We meet again. Is this stealthy business becoming a habit of yours? Oi! Who goes there? Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though, we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But might I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. Is that all you have to say for yourself? Tis sweet of you to mind your manners, but such niceties won't get you far with me. Something tells me this shan't be the last I see of you. Perhaps you'll be good enough to repay me when next we meet. Off you go now. If you wish to speak further, twill have to wait. This is neither the time nor the place for it. It seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign.
crowds can be troublesome. You best be on my guard. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Vatal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, True to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to see our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it. And ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Phasus. Now there's a name to remember. We ought to deliver the letter to Sir Ernesto. We shall find him at the encampment on Agamemnon Volcanic Island. Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. What should I get up to today? Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their costs. This ox cart's bound for. I'll need to see some coin before I. This will seem of little consequence, but different masters. Halt! Who goes there? This village is under the direct authority of Her Grace the Queen Regent. We are to grant no unknown person's entry. Glad we understand each other. You may pass. I beg 
beg of you. Well met. Glad to see you in good health. The tyranny of the Queen Regent's faction knows no bounds. Passage into and out of the village is restricted, and we're being treated as slaves. I had intended to endure it till Ulrika returned to us, but I fear the villagers have already reached their limit. I'll be honest with you, as you've earned my trust. We've a mind to leave this village for good. The Dragon's Flame has devastated the land here. Many of the villagers question whether it is worth attempting to restore it. When I mentioned as much in a letter I had smuggled to Ulrika, she told me that the village she's staying in would be glad to take us in. Only problem is how we're going to get past the soldiers. They've confiscated all weapons to forestall our escape. Perhaps if we could reclaim the stolen weapons or find a means of procuring some anew, we could force our way out through strength of arms. Alas, we villagers are kept under constant watch. It would be unwise for us to attempt aught on our own. You are our only hope in this matter. Pray lend us your aid. My apologies, sir, but I can't help you. So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Our party is reunited. Surely we can ask for no more than that. was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Britain gets the world, as they say. That's it! 
A well-organized pack is my specialty. I'll see... What in the world? I hasten home. Well, it's not my duty. Begging your pardon, sir, but I'm on duty. We're better prepared than we might have hoped. Fancy a gander? I... Fine, good for say. Much obliged. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. What fell from the beast as it breathed its last? Thank you. We shall remain here. How are you faring? Have you been able to procure any weapons for us? You've reclaimed our weapons. Well done, sir. I am certain the other villagers shall be glad to arm themselves with their weapons of choice. My thanks. I'd wager we stand a fighting chance now. The time has come to leave this village behind. I've got you cornered, rat! Don't fret, I've got you. With me! Must withdraw and regroup. You have my gratitude for all you've done on our behalf. We'll make for the village Ulrika staying in on our own from here. If I were you, I'd leave this place before reinforcements arrive. 
At any rate, this is where we part ways. But if you're ever of a mind to visit, know that we'll welcome you into our new homes with open arms. Till then, farewell. There's a ladder here. After you are risen. This way. We seem to have a ride without issue, but are we safe here? No! I'm not sending anyone into that cave! But Jonas, isn't it your duty to aid our people? held my tongue till now, but no longer. You would leave one of your own to die. This is impermissible. A village is nothing without its people. Sacrificing that poor soul amounts to cutting off your own arm. As Harv's leader, you ought to strive to do whatever you can to bring him back alive. Can you truly say this decision benefits your people, Jonas. <laughs> Who are you to question me? I'll suffer none of your impudence, outsider! Be gone from our village! I, Jonas, I am an outsider, and therefore have no reason to heed any commands you would give. I shall follow my own will, and do what must needs be done. All those with the strength and courage to do the same Join me at Stormwind Cave. Perhaps we ought to hurry, lest we arrive too late to be evade. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. It is in caverns such as these that monsters thrive. Narrow passages may await us. Be on your guard. By your leave. Tis you. Have you come to join us in our rescue effort? My thanks. We shan't fail with you by our side. The captured villager ought to be within. Let us hurry. We will likely find our charge in the cave's depths. Shall we press on? I can guide you to the place, Arisen, or thereabouts. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way.
vacation proud. There, Master! Saurian! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Hard one. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Saved. Thank you. Thank heavens you yet live. Let us be on our way. The other villagers shall be thrilled to see you in good health, I'm sure. Our results are awaited. What say we make our report? You have my admiration. I doubt even my own master has obtained an article so rare.
can't count the number of meats and fish that have gone to rot in my pack. You'd think the smell would remind me. You have returned triumphant, I see. Oh, what a relief. Indeed. And now that the task is done, I shall leave Harp Village, ne'er to return. In exchange, I beg you to forgive those who joined me. I incited them, and so I alone ought to suffer the penalty of exile. Yet I will go forth from this village with my head held high, glad in the knowledge that no lives were sacrificed under my watch. There'll be no need for that, Ulrika. In light of your good deeds, all shall be forgiven. After you left, we who remain discuss that which our village treasures most. It is as you yourself have said. A village is nothing without its people. We ought to have learned that lesson well after the dragon chased us from our homes. Yet t'was your heartfelt plea that reminded us of it, Ulrika. Would you honor our village by becoming its chief? Tis our hope that you will guide us, and that your kindness and wisdom shall unite our people, human and bestrand both. Aye, if that is what is needed, I shall rise to the call of duty. I vow to protect this village and its people with my life. I cannot have imagined a better outcome. The village will surely prosper in Sir Ulrika's care. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. Our road was... I heard what transpired. Thank you for fighting on my people's behalf. You cannot imagine my relief when I beheld that everyone had made it out unharmed. Say, would you come with me a moment? There's aught I would show you. It is a strange thing. I ne'er knew how vast the sky was till I left Mel behind. Time and again, you have come to my aid. Would that I could repay you in some way. Alas, there is little I have to offer. Yet, if your heart e'er aches for a place to call home, then may this village. No, not the village. If e'er you're in need of a hearth to return to. And let it be mine. What air trials we may face. I shall see this village and its people safely through them all. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Where does the road call you? Did... Sir Fulvio, the artist whose service Sir Clark commissioned, is residing in Batal. Shall we go and meet with him?
Allow me to guide you, Master. I know the person you're looking for. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Beyond path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. The Arisen decides... Yes, yes, of course. We were speaking of places elsewhere. Mayhap tis beyond your ken, but this world of ours is not the real one. This world is a cycle. The dragon emerges, the dragon is slain, and just when we think we have found peace at last, the dragon appears once more. It is endless. Endless and tiresome, wouldn't you say? Yet, such is the lot of those who reside in a false world like ours. The real world is not nearly so stagnant. All manner of things occur there. It is a far more fearsome existence than ours, to be sure. Is there a way to travel to the real world, you ask? True. Must I do all the thinking here? Ponder that yourself. What I will say is that I believe the cycle will continue unbroken for as long as the dragon continues to be slain. You doubt your ears, but I speak truly. I have beheld the real world with my own eyes. One arisen. Let us endeavor to keep. Oh, um, yes. Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. Uh, I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself. Uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I speak of the Trail of Archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so, though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. 
Please, sir. You gifted me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you twofold. But this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. trial as it comes. About time you showed up. We've been waiting for you. 